plan full side this morning. We've got go faster, hit cardio. Now I'm not going to use music with this again uh, purely because I'm just working out how Facebook gets a chance to cut this. Um, so add your own music. I'm going to upload. I have uploaded the playlist to this already. Um, so hit that and get. Let's get that blood pumping a little bit. All right. So we're just going to start with a bit of a warm up. So just twisting side to side. Now we want to make sure we're lifting those heels as we go. Getting a good rotation to the spine. Let's start by reaching the arms. Nice long strong arms. Keeping that core tight as you go. Let's put those arms up. And bring it back down. Let's set the arms out to the sides and twist. Let's bring it to centre, squat and reach. So we're warming up the hips and the knees with this one. Getting those shoulders moving. Just lifting that heart rate a bit. <laughs> Let's double tap. Now we want to keep the gaze forward so that we're not bending into it. We want to be squatting down into it. One more. All right, let's take those arms around. Nice big circles. Take it back the other way. All right, let's take the hands to center, little squats. So we're setting ourselves up, working on that form, pushing the heels into the ground. Really starting to use those leg muscles. All right, we're going to add a reverse lunge now. So squat it down, reverse lunge. Squat, reverse lunge. So this is going to help to warm up the feet, the ankles, the balance. All right, let's make it a double. So bring the foot up, back, take it across. Back, up, back, across. Awesome. Two to go. And last one. All right, so you should be feeling nice and warm in the knees and everything now. Set one foot out the back. So we're getting length in the front of those quads. Stretching the front of that hip out. Let's take the knee out the front. Ankle circles. Back the other way. Okay, other side, out the back. Let's take it out the front and ankle circles. Back the other way. All right, we're just going to bounce on the spot. Just get those feet ready and those ankles ready. There's nothing worse than starting. You get that sharp jab of pain in the ankles. So this is a high impact class where there is a lot of bouncing around. Uh, we'll try and offer as many um, options as I can. So if you're trying to maybe not go as hard as everybody else, um, you're not feeling up to it, maybe you've got an injury, um, then I'll try and offer some alternatives as well, a few lower impact alternatives. This is a high intensity class so the idea is to burn a mass amount of calories through power um, but if you're doing it at a lower intensity it's a great cardio workout you will build a lot of strength from it as well all right so the speed are feeling pretty good
So I think it's time to get started. I am going to leave my jumper on for just a little bit longer because it is quite fresh in Brisbane today. But grab yourself a drink. I'll find my page. The breeze has got it this morning. All right, so we're going to do two exercises, three times three. Then we're going to have a, a break, a water break, and then we'll move on to the next block of two exercises, three times three, okay? Each exercise or stint uh, lasts 20 seconds, and we have a 10-second break. Then we do it again. Okay, so starting the timer. Let's be out. All right, we've got butt kicks straight up. And go. So we're taking the feet right at the back. I like to put my hands there so I don't do any damage. Keeping it nice and, nice and light on the toes. Really flicking those feet up. Three, two, one. Let's bounce it off. All right, so that's round one. Go for round two. Same again, let's go. So keeping it light on the toes. If you're looking for a lower impact exercise, just flip those feet up out the back. And rest, let's bounce it off. Well, I'm getting warm now. All right, so we have one to go. So either option is fine. So we're either kicking the feet up out the back, like so, or stepping it behind. So just listening to your body and going with what you're comfortable with. All right, our heart rate should be starting to come up now. We've got our next exercise, which is an in-out jack. Okay, going in three, two, one, so like a star jump to the side, to the front, to the side, to the front. So it's only the arms that are changing direction. If you'd like a lower impact, arms to the front and stepping it out, keeping it nice and low on that straight leg. All right, let's bounce. Two more rounds and we have a water break. Let's go. So out to the sides, out to the front. Now, if you keep your core tight, you will feel when you take the arms to the front, you get a bit of a crunch motion as well. So we're sneaking in a bit of extra core work. Let's bounce. One to go. And go. Nice, strong arms. So either option one or option two. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, water break. So maybe you're ready to take another layer up. I'm certainly warm now. So this workout will build up till we hit the peak. Then we'll start to bring the intensity back down again. All right, so we're gonna start using the arms now. Going in 10 seconds, we've got to walk out and twist. So I'll bring it to the side. Feet down, we're gonna walk the arms out to stay down plank. Twist one side, twist the other side. Walk it back in and close. If you're familiar with this, you can speed it up. If you are lower intensity, just walk it in and out like so. Drop the twist. And time. So we're giving that blood pumping in between. Two, one. Let's go again. Walk it out. Twist. Twist. Now you really want to make sure you get a good side plank on either side. Keep that core tight. Pivoting on the toes. So we're not twisting through the legs. We're bringing the feet all the way to the sides. 
and bring it back up. Got one to go. Three, two, one, let's go. So keeping that core tight, pull the belly in to pull it back up. Again, if you're going lower impact, just walk it out to a nice strong plank. Walk the hands back in. Otherwise, twist. Try to incorporate as many muscles at once as we can. Let's bounce. All right, side step and touch next. So we're going to touch the ground, little hop through, kick the other foot out. Keep that focus forward to make sure that we're squatting down on that single leg. If you want lower impact, step it in, step it out. Going again in two, one. So low impact, step and touch, or speed it up. Little hop. Four, three, two, one. Let's shake it out. Give it a little bounce. We've got one round to go. Then we've got a water break. Let's take it down. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Woo, let's shake it out. All right, grab a drink if you need a drink. So as you can see, I'm starting to get a little hoppy puppy. It's going to be harder for me to talk from here on in. All right, 10 seconds till we go again. First up, we have plank jacks. So it's like a star jump. You're straight down plank position. All right, let's take it down. So feet out the back, jumping the feet out, jumping them in. So pacing yourself at the start. If you want a lower impact, step it out, in, out, in, bring it up. So I'll go over that again in the second round. Lower impact, let's take it down to the side, to the other side. Otherwise, jump it in and out. Now shifting the body weight into the hands, we'll take that load out of the legs, bring it up. So if your thighs are burning, just shift the body forward a little bit so that you're lighter on your feet. Makes the jump a lot easier. Last round, let's take it down. So we want to keep the hips low, we don't want to be up in downward dog. Bring it up. Okay, next exercise. We've got heel click, touch down, step back. So let's bounce. So we're going to jump, click the heels, touch the floor, step it back, jump, floor, step it back, jump, floor, step it back. If you want a lower impact, one, two, Two, step it back, okay? Shake it out. Going in three. So again, lower impact. One, two behind. One, two behind. Otherwise, jump it up. Tap, take it back. All right, let's shake that one out. One to go. Three, 
Last one, let's go. Let's sit here and jump a little higher. Three, two, one. Alright, 30 second break. Now's the time to grab a drink. Whew. Bring that heart rate down a little. So these, break, these breaks are good to bring the heart rate down a little bit just so that we can hit the exercises that bit harder. All right, 10 seconds. We're on the floor again with in and out. So hands to the ground, straight arm plank. Now we're going to jump the feet in, back out to plank. In. Plank, in, plank, in, plank, low impact, in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out. Let's bring it up, bounce it off. Three, two, one, take it down. Again, so it's jumping in, jumping back, or in, in, out, out. In, in, out, out. So you want to alternate that leading in, out foot. Okay, otherwise, bouncing it in, bouncing it out. Bring it up. One to go. Take it down. Now, if you can speed it up, go for it. Keep that core tight, so it's bracing as you take the feet back to support the hips. We want to prevent sagging, but we don't want the hips to be raised either. All right, bring it up. Round two. Floor type ankle chat. So this one is a low impact one. It really gets in the butt. So down to the floor. Opposite hand, opposite ankle. To the floor. Ankle. That's it. So making sure you come all the way upright as you come up. Make that ankle work to get up there. All right, let's bounce. Three, two, one, and go. Let's see if we can get palms all the way to the floor this time. Does make a cool tune too, doesn't it? One more. All right, let's bounce. My legs are burning now. Three. And go. Almost there. All right, let's shake it off. 30 second break. Big breaths out. Let's get that carbon dioxide out so that the oxygen can make its way in. Quick drink if you need it. 10 seconds, let's bounce. Okay, next up we have a push up and twist. So there's a couple of variations to this one. Oh, there's two. Okay, optimally you would like to be on your toes and twist all the way over onto the feet. Push up and twist. If you want a lower impact option, bring it down onto the knees. Down, tuck the toes, twist. Back, down, push, tuck the toes. Twist, okay? So we're not twisting on the knees. We're bringing it up to straight arm plane uh, before we twist, then back down to the knees. Otherwise, bring it up onto toes. Keep it nice and strong. 
Really rotate those hips through in your twist. All right, bring it up. We've got one to go. Three, two, one. Let's take it down. Push up and twist. We get a break after this one. Bring it up, take a break. So starting to come up to the peak of the hit mountain now. Oh, now we've got another one, skaters. So you jump to the side, touch the floor, to the side, diagonal reverse lunge, okay? So it's going right out into a curtsy. So a little bit of a leap. If you want lower impact, just step it across. All right, let's bounce. Three, two, one. Let's take it to the side. Now, if you can, add the jump in the middle, okay? If you can't, just step it out. That's it. All right, shake it out. Whew. One to go. We're going to put our arms up in the center now if you can. So jumping across, take it down and down. Low impact. Get those arms in there. It brings us upright. The bigger the move is, the more the heart rate will get up, the more calories you'll burn. All right, 30 second break. Woo. Almost up the gun. All right, so coming up to the, the peak, these next couple of rounds are gonna to be tough, but we're gonna get through it, okay? First up, ski to sumo. Ski to sumo. So we're starting in sumo squat. Jumping it in the ski, sumo, ski, sumo, ski, sumo, ski. If you want a lower impact, let's ski, sumo, ski, sumo. Okay, let's now. So those two options again. Start with the low impact one. Two, one. All right, sumo, ski, sumo, ski. Let's try and keep it nice and low to get the heart rate up. If you want to go for it, use those arms for momentum. All right, shake it out. One round to go. Definitely warming up now. All right, sumo, ski, sumo, ski. That's it. Oh, legs are burning now. Five, three, two, one. Shake it out. All right, switch kicks. We're gonna start with the high intensity version. We'll move it through to the low. So we step it back into a reverse lunge. Kick, back, switch sides. Kick, back, switch. Kick, switch. Okay? You're going low impact. Kick, down, back. Kick, down, back. Do not confuse the two. It's hard to get your switch in if you're putting your foot down in the lower version, okay? So, kick, down, back, swapping legs, kick, oops, down, back, other side, kick, for lower impact. For everyone, what's higher, back, switch, switch, switch. 
All right, one to go. Three, two, one. Let's go again. second break. I thought it was. I just didn't want to jump the gun again. So just make it easy. It's better to keep moving a little bit than it is to just stand still. So I don't want to cool down too much. Just want to make that breathing a bit easier. Let that blood catch up to running through the body. All right, plank switch and stand. Let's take it down into a straight arm plank. One foot is forward. I'm going to switch. Keeping that angle in the knee, bring it up, take it down, switch, up, down. Lower impact, step it back, step it in. Bring it up again, so important to keep that leg in that same position, okay? It's all about hinging from that hip. Woo. Let's do it again, take it back, one foot in, either switch, and stand, or step it out, step it in and stand. Dig that heel into the front, there's that front heel, in as you lift up, okay? One to go. Then we're almost there. Let's take it down again, switch and stand. Switch and stand. Nearly there. All right, let's bring it up, shake that one off. All right, dive bomber. If you're sweating now, it's about to start dripping. So we're gonna kick the feet back, take them nice and wide, hips, Nice and high, legs stay straight. I'm going to bend the elbows and think about dragging the nose across the floor. Stand it up. Bring it through. Now, only go as far as you can. So if you can only do a little dip, just do a little dip. It's more about moving through all those muscles, changing the angle fluently, okay? So if getting low is too hard, just do a little dip. Lift the hips back up. Take it back. If you want to make it harder, however, scrape the nose through, scrape the nose back up. Scrape the nose through, scrape the nose back up. Otherwise, sweep, shift the hips, okay? So three options on that one. It is a pretty cool move. <laughs> There's a level for everybody. Let's take it back, last one. The wider your feet are, the easier it is too, okay? So control on the way through, whichever level you choose. Now we're not coming into upward dog either, so just make a note of that. All right, 30 second break. Ooh. One more. High intensity up drill, and we're down on the floor for two sets. All right, squat switch to start. All right, squat, one, two, squat, one, two, squat. That's it. All right, let's shake that off. Lower intensity. Then squat, knee lift, squat, knee lift. Okay, so either squat and switch, 
or squat, knee lift if you're going low. So squat, switch, or squat, knee. All right, let's shake that out. One round to go. Three, two, one. So I like to level I think I've got my twos and my ones back in front. I see, let's take it a little lower. Ten seconds left on this one. Alright, let's shake that out. Crisscross tuck jump. Woohoo! So we're going to jump it out, across, out, in, then tuck jump. Out, across, out, in, and jump. Out, cross, and jump. If you want something lower intensity, cross, out, in. Cross, out, in, okay? So you can take the tuck jump out of it. It's a bit much, it is a tough one. So it's up to you, let's go. That's it. Stick with it. I know you're tired. Alright, one of those to go. And go. So this is your high intensity. You're going at low intensity, out, cross, in, jump. Cross, out, in, jump. That's it. All right, 30 second break. We have three blocks to go. We're all on the ground. So grab your towel or your exercise mat. Drag my heel a little. Okay. Let's take it down. We've got up down plank to start. So starting in an elbow plank, we get a right arm in, left arm in, right arm down, left arm tap. Up, up, down, tap. Down, tap. Down, tap. All right, let's take it back. Stretch those arms back. Sink through the armpits. Take it up. Up, up, down, tap. Tap. Now we want to try and keep our plank nice and steady, as steady as we can while we're moving. It is tough on the shoulders. Take it down, stretch it back. So the more underneath your shoulder your hand is as you place up, the easier it's going to be. Now we all want to reach out and force it or resist it. So if you place your hand underneath, it's going to be easier to lift the body weight than if you're pushing out like so, okay? Plus, it's going to work more of the core, which is all we want. All right, let's take it down. Stretch it back. We are bringing it back up into a straight arm plank. We're going to shift it through to downward dog, opposite hand to opposite knee, plank, opposite hand to opposite knee, plank. My towels and things. So let's get those, feet, those hips up nice and high. Feel that core engage as we bring it into plank. Take it down, stretch it back. All right, let's do that. Same again, last one. That's it. 
suck the belly in as you pull it through. And take it down. All right. 10 second break. We're going again. Last one. Might actually just tuck the towel. So my feet stop slipping. All right. Last one. Let's see if we can reach a little lower. That's it. And take it down. Let's grab a quick drink. We're going to stretch the arms out a little. And we've got our second last block of exercises. So as you can see, the intensity is starting to drop. It is still tough. But we're winding it up. Okay, so... 10 seconds. Let's take the one arm across the front. Other arm. We're starting with mountain climbers. So tucking the toes and bringing the knees in between the elbows or aiming to get in between the elbows. Now if you want lower intensity, just take it easy. Again, really try and get that knee nice and high. Take it down, stretch it back. Take it up, and again, mountain climb. 20 seconds is a long time when you're mountain climbing. Again, shift the body weight forward. If we're pushing like, back like that, your arms are gonna just get exhausted. So we're essentially pushing against the body weight instead of balancing on it. Take it down. Plus we don't want all the, the arms to be doing all the work. All right, last one. All the way to the end. 10 seconds. All right, let's take it down. We're rolling it over for bicycles. So fingertips to ears, let's take the knees to 90. Backs push down, lift the shoulders. Start by cycling those legs around. Nice big sweeping motion. When you're ready, add opposite arm, opposite elbow to opposite knee. All right, let's lay that down, knees side to side. All right, pulling the belly in. So same again, or go lower impact. So just bringing that knee in, twisting through the shoulders to bring the elbow to the knee. Try and keep that lower back pressing on the ground. I want you to really think about keeping that up, belly flat as well. Take it down, knee side to side. So either option is fine. If you're going higher intensity, come with me. Let's take those knees up. Lift the shoulders. This time we're going to reverse cycle. So sweeping it up. Once you get a handle on your knees, add the elbow. Oh, I've gone the wrong way. <laughs> there we go. And take it down, knees side to side. 30 second break. So we have one block of exercises to go. And then with the ends, I grab a drink if you need one, towel off if you need to, otherwise just lay with the arms up overhead, stretch it all out. Okay, if you do come to see it, let's take it back down. Jackknife. So with the jackknife, the straighter your legs are, the harder it is. Okay, so I'm taking mine nice and long. If you want to make it easier, bring them up. Closer, because so we're reaching opposite hand to opposite toes. Now you can reach, it is possible, but what I want you to focus on is from here down as we place the foot down. We want to keep that lower back pushed in and we're trying to lower the legs with the core muscles, okay? 
So we're not using momentum. We are controlling it. Keep trying to pull that belly in as we do it. Try to keep the back flat to the floor. Nice big reach up. Almost there. And take it down. We have one to go. I had to check then. Take the knees side to side. So again, the more bent your knees are, the easier it is. But keep that back pushed in. I have to close it my eyes because the sun is beating straight in. I can't see the thing. That's it. Control it. Big reach. And take it down. All right, let's roll it over. We have three 20-second planks on elbows. Then we're done, okay? So you're either up on toes, like so. And we want to tighten through the legs. It's up and out of the shoulders. Neck is nice and long. And hold. Pull the belly in towards the spine. This is one big isometric contraction, okay? So you want to use the entire body for this. Stretch it back. Release those shoulders. Now, if you need to, you can bring it down on knees, okay? But we want to make sure we can feel that core bracing. So we're sinking in the hips a little. Well, we're going a straight line from the shoulders through to the knees. Pulling and scooping that belly up and in. Still lifting up and out of the shoulders. Just so that you can feel this whole underside of the body active. And take it down, stretch it back. All right, last one, 30 seconds. So either option is fine. But again, let's just make sure the whole body's active. Keep pulling that belly in. Up and out of the shoulders, neck nice and strong. Keep readjusting yourself. And that's time. All right. Well done, guys. Let's roll it over for a quick stretch. So we're going to take the arms up overhead just to stretch those back tummy muscles out. Take that right leg up. Rotate the ankle. Let's draw it in a little closer. Bend at the knee, squeeze it into the chest. So let me know at the end what music you use. Let me know if you use the JB Go Faster playlist. Take it across the body. Or maybe you rocked out to your own playlist. And bring it back to center. Let's place the ankle on the knee and open the hip. Reach it, draw it in. And release. Let's take that left leg up. Rotate the ankle. Let's draw it in. Bend at the knee, squeeze it to the chest. Oh, that sun is going to make you sneeze. Ah, mid. Let's take it across the body. Bring it back to centre, ankle on the knee, open that hip. Reach through, pull it in. Give it a big 
six ways. And release. Let's roll it over onto knees to get quite a bit of upper body in there. So let's stretch out those shoulders. And release. Other side. And release. Let's take those arms to the front, open it up. Roll the thumbs down. Let's take it behind, roll the shoulders. Give yourselves a good clap. So again, like all my videos, make sure that you hit like, um, drop a comment below. Let me know how you went. Let me know if you've done it. Um, and otherwise, have a great day. Thanks for having me. Welcome to Poolside in Brisbane. Bye.